Hey guys, welcome back to Shadowwood. This week I'm going to start by showing you something new that I've added to Shadowwood, and that is shadows. Seems appropriate, right? First, I've tweaked the lighting for when you don't actually have a light source. So it's a bit brighter, but there is a harder cutoff in the distance. So things that are close are more visible, and things that are further away are just black. Secondly, when you do have a light source, like a flashlight or a torch, there are now proper shadows. Though I will probably have to raise up how some of the characters hold their flashlight so it doesn't just get blocked off by tall grass. It's been a while since I've checked in on the networking of the game, and it looks like some problems have cropped up. You can see here I've got two instances of the game running. The host game is in the upper left corner, and it's getting all the info correctly, but the client in the bottom right is not. It has the wrong character, and when trying to equip a flashlight, no flashlight exists. I had all these things sorted out before, but obviously some things have gotten knocked out of whack in the meantime. Alright, after much blood, sweat, and tears, I've finally got these things uh, displaying the proper characters here. So you can see here's the host game, and then in Unity here is the client, and the problem has been that the client is not showing the proper host character. So here my host character is Betty, and you can see that it's showing up properly in there. Um, I still do have a few hiccups to resolve. Uh, something got disconnected here between the gun and the uh, um, networking interface, so that is a thing I have to fix. Um, but uh, it's animating properly, showing the correct character, and the problem I had with the flashlight not showing up was really a very simple fix. That was merely just a case of uh, I didn't have this flashlight. At some point I must have uh, what the, uh, I should say what this is first, I guess. What this is is a list of um, designated prefabs that uh, the networker is aware of that you can spawn into the game that will then spawn on all of the clients as well. So at some point I must have changed out my model or something like that for my flashlight and so um, it got deleted out of this list, and then I never put it back in, so that's all that was. Earlier this week, I started working on setting up a simple scene for the main menu here. And you can see I've taken the in-game options menu and just kind of retold it to make the main menu. At the moment, only the solo button does anything and that is take you into the character selection screen, which is what I'm gonna be working on this evening. It's Saturday now, and I wanted to get started on adding some new mechanics to the game. First of all, I want to add crates to the game. But rather than just smashing crates, you'll need a tool to pry them open. Right now you'll need the knife, but I will be adding a crowbar down the line as well. Additionally, these towers are going to be interactable as well, as you'll be able to place a specific item into the cavity here. 
For the test build, every third or fourth level, rather than lighting an altar, you'll need to search through crates to find the jewel that gets placed onto the tower. So you can see here I've imported the crate model into Unity and I've got some basic interaction. If you're within range and you have the knife equipped, the crate will prompt you to pry it open. For the time being the lid just pops open, but at the very least I plan on making this take some time to open up, so if there's a monster bearing down on you, there's a little bit of pressure there. I may also make a small mini game out of it, but for the time being it just pops open. That's going to do it for this week. Next week I'm going to finish the crates and interaction with the tower. Beyond that, I plan on fixing some bugs, setting up a Patreon page, and just generally getting ready for the first test build. I think everything is still on track for release at the end of the month, and let's tentatively plan on Wednesday, February 28th. For more Shadowwood goodness, you can follow me on Twitter now, link is in the description, and please do like and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next week.